there. It's it's streaming to five different places right now. Five different places. Hello, hello. This is Jen with Jen Stan Art. Come on in, have a seat, and join us for a little prep work today on our canvas. If you don't know who I am, I am Ginger LaCour. I am the artist and founder of Jen Stan Art. I teach women how to paint using acrylics. And this is my husband here, Michael. He is on some of our lives helping with the comments and um, he takes prayer requests. And at the end of the live, we um, have a little devotional. So we would like to invite you to come on in and say hello to us. Let us know where you're watching from. Hey, Miss Sharon. Really? I only see two people. This is going to be a combination of all. I'm streaming in five different areas right now. So you may be watching on Jen's Den Art. You may be watching on YouTube. You may be watching on the in the free acrylic group, the tribe group, or the mini tribe group. So you may not be able to see all of the comments, but I can see all the comments streamed this way. Hey, Miss Jackie, how are you? Tell us where you are all from. We've got Miss Sandy from Arkansas, and we've got Miss Jennifer from Texas. Where are you streaming that from so I can do the same thing? I'm streaming, I'm using an app that streams to all. I'm so not, I don't have that. No, you don't have that. No. Hey, Miss Monica, how are you? Tribe sister from Lou in the house from Lou, from Louisiana. Is that what you're saying? Yes. <laughs> so I don't I don't see any comments. I get I got one person, Sandy. I don't see any other. Comments. What group are you in? I am in Jensen Monthly Art membership. Yeah, you should probably go to Jensen Art. You'll see more there. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello, everyone from Florida. Nona's watching on Jen Zen Art page. Oh, okay, Miss Sharon. I was like, wait, what are we talking about? Hey, Miss Erica, you're on YouTube. Yay. Great to see you. All right, guys. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to talk about some things coming up. July is super full of fun things happening. And today is day one. I hope you had a great 4th of July. Michael is off today because it Monday is the day that um, we're actually celebrating the 4th of July. Um, we just finished barbecuing and we are here now ready to prep our canvas or talk about prepping a canvas for a painting. And there's two things that I want to talk to you about today. One is we have a pop-up paint party coming up on July 7th, 8th, and 9th, okay? On July 7th, 8th, and 9th, and this one is called Barnyard Bliss. So we'll be painting the Barnyard Bliss on July 7th, 8th, and 9th in a private Facebook group. It is $20 to get into that um, pop-up paint party, but we have a lot of things going on in there. One of the things I'm actually going to share with you today is we're painting it on a 24 by 36. The original painting, and this is going to be my canvas that I'm going to be using to paint it on. The original painting is, um, I would say, like 22 by 30, probably, but we're going even bigger this time, okay? So, I am going to walk you through prepping the canvas today because we're actually going to have a little bit of texture going on on our canvas, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So, we're going to get started with that, and you if you are already a member of the pop-up paint party, let us know if you are. Um, I am going to make sure that this is shared in the group, in the uh, the Barnyard Bliss Facebook group. I'm going to make sure that this is shared so that you can prep your canvas in advance. I'm going to take you through a couple of different ways to do that. So one of the ways is I'm going to be using this big, like I actually got it from like a paint store. It's just a big spatula. Okay, it's a scraper, actually. A spatula. A spatula. Okay, and spatula. the other thing I'm going to be using is 
gesso. Okay, this is Artist Loft White Acrylic Gesso. Now, the only thing I don't like about this gesso is it's shiny. Okay, but hey, I bought it a long time ago. It's, I have about a quarter of it left, if you can see in there. It kind of looks like glue. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take my spatula here. And I'm just going to dip into the gesso. Now, my gesso is really thick. So, I'm going to just start putting the gesso on my canvas. Hi, Jen from Jen from hey. Aurora, Illinois. Hey, Jen. Hey, Jen, how are you? All right, so I'm just going to start putting a bunch of this on my canvas. I have a lot of gesso this is optional, y'all. You do not have to do that. this, but it's one of the steps. And look, this gesso is old. I've been having it forever. I bought a large gallon container of gesso thinking that I would use it up in no time, but I haven't. So I've been using this stuff for a long time. So it has some little hard pieces in it. You can see them on the canvas. So I'm just going to start putting all this gesso on here, kind of thick, actually. And normally I would lay my canvas down, but since I'm going live and I'm showing y'all this, then I'm just, I have it up like this because of the live. So this is a super big canvas. I bought this canvas. Let me tell you, this is actually the biggest that I've ever painted on. Elizabeth wants to know, can she do 16 by 20? Yes, you can. This is the canvas that I bought. It actually only cost me $12.99 because it was, or maybe, yeah, it did because it was um, Master's Touch at Hobby Lobby. And it was regular $24.99, so I paid $12.50 for it because I went when it was a 50% off at um, Hobby Lobby. And so... Is tonight, um, is tis for tonight or barnyard? What is Sharon saying? I don't know. So this is basically um, a pre-barnyard bliss pop-up paint party demo okay if you want to prep your canvas the way i'm doing it then i would make sure you do this before we actually start the painting which starts july 7th so sharon this painting here is for tonight for the tribe sisters only for the mini tribe oh, and the, mini and the tribe yeah so that was the other thing that i was going to talk about too so this painting right here is our field of Lavender. Do you want to tell them about it? Do you remember yeah, so it? Before I tell them about it, let me ask, let me ask you this question. Okay. So Kathy's having problems resizing to a 16 by 20. Could you give her some advice? Yes. So um, go to block posters and Actually, if you want, it's probably easier for me to just do it for you than to explain to you how to do it. I also draw, so, so there's two different ways to do it. Actually, three. I could do it for you. Um, another way is go to block posters and put it in there. You can just upload it and put it in their, um, their app, their software that they use, and it's free. And it'll print out as a PDF. Or you could use the um, the video that I've dropped in the Barnyard Bliss pop-up paint party that shows you how to use Canva to resize your templates. So there's three different ways to do it. Two more questions real quick. Okay. That's what we're most, here for. I thought most canvases came pre-prepped. Yes, they do, but I am prepping it again because one, the pre-prepped canvas still has a little bit more, um, it, it's hard for my paintbrush to move well when I have a pre-prepped canvas and I only use that. 
I like to use gesso because it adds an additional layer of, of um, protection over the canvas. Not only that, but it also allows your paint, especially acrylic paints, to move better when you're painting. If you don't believe me, just take a, take a, a, a canvas one that's just the pre-prep from the store and then do one with gesso and paint on both of them and see the difference. But it is totally optional. And Doris Watt says, what about the modeling paste? That was on the list. And does gesso replace the modeling paste? Very good question. So the modeling paste is something else that I'm going to use, but you have an option of whether you want to use gesso only, molding paste only, or gesso and molding paste. So I'm going to give you a couple of options right now to be able to do that. Okay. Very good questions. Keep them coming. Right on. So to give you guys an idea, if you join the pop-up paint party, that means you pay $20 and that's from June 7th to June 9th. And we'll be painting. What will we be painting? Barnyard Bliss. Oh, the Barnyard Bliss. Um, however, if you decide to join the mini tribe, which is open all the time, which is open all the time, that's $15 a month. You will get the pop up paint party for $5 for a total of 20. Plus, you will be a member of an art group, right on? No, the pop up paint party is 50% off if you're a mini tribe. Right. I just so said it would if be you the pop up. $10. You said $5. Oh, I'm sorry. $10. It's okay. I don't really know really what's going on, <laughs> to be honest. I'm, I've got it written down, but um, my notes are sideways, and and there's some on top of So I'll let Jen explain it. <laughs> okay. So what he's trying to say is there's two different things you can join. You can join a one-time payment of $20 for the Barnyard Bliss pop-up paint party, or you could join the Mini Tribe for $15 a month. It's a monthly subscription. And we paint one painting a month together in a private Facebook group live, which starts tonight for July. We do it the first week of July. It's $15 a month. But if you're a mini triber, you get 50% off of the Barnyard Bliss pop-up paint party. So if you do the math, $15 a month for the this painting that we're doing live tonight, plus access to seven other tutorials in our mini tribe library, plus you would only pay $10 for the Barnyard Bliss pop-up paint party. That would come out to $25 and you would get two paintings, plus you would get access to the tribe, the mini tribe library, which already has six other paintings in the mini tribe library. So just saying. Oh yeah. Got it? A couple of questions. Where's the list? I haven't seen it. The list for Elizabeth asks, where's the list? For the Barnyard Bliss or oh, Bliss or the Where's the list? The Fields of Lavenders. And while we're waiting for that, Terry says, if you don't have modeling paste, can you use lightweight spackle? Yes. You can actually use um um gel medium. You can use anything that has some texture to it. Oh, I know this. Okay? I know the answer to this question. Elizabeth said both. Where's the list? Both. Okay. The list for the Barnyard Bliss is in the Facebook group and in your email. The list for the Field of Lavenders has not been sent out to y'all yet. I am going to be sending that out to y'all as soon as this live is over. Um, but the template for the Field of Lavenders is already in the tribe groups, in the Facebook group. Also, I know the answer to this question. What about tribe members does it cost? Ginger Baker, the answer is no, it does no. not cost tribe members anything. Sure. Your monthly membership pays for, for all For everything, of this. right. So if you're a tribe sister, which, by the way, our tribe opens on July 9th, 10th, and 11th. It's going to be a three-day um, launch. If you're a tribe sister, you pay $32 a month and you get anything extra for free. Like all of this is free. You don't have to pay for any of this. What you do get is you get a new painting every week in the $32 a month tribe. Plus all of this other stuff is free. So. Hello, Debbie. Yeah. 
Hello, Miss Debbie. Okay, so my first layer is a lot of gesso. You can see how pretty it is. I want texture. I do not want this to be smooth. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to look at my painting. And I'm going to start making me an outline. Where... My painting is actually going to go. No, nope, that's too big. I want this to be wet. Okay. And look, I can play around with it. I can do whatever I want with it. I'm just going to show y'all some options. I'm taking this spatula. You could use, um, you could use a butter knife. I mean, it just has to have something that's kind of hard. And I'm just drawing in the actual gesso. Now let me give myself a guide. I'm going about right here with the top of the born. And I'm going right and left. And I'm drawing out my born. Now if you don't want to do what I'm doing and you want to sketch it out first, I'm not going to be sketching mine. I'm going to be freehanding it. But I did provide the template for you, and I can show you how to use it when we get started on July 7th. But here's something you can do. You can just sketch it out, and that's about right. So you can see I've already given myself some texture. Great question. Let me um, zoom in a little bit so you can see yep. that. You see all the texture I'm giving myself on here? That's going to show when we actually paint the painting. What's your question? Jen says, can I join Mini Tribe? Yes. Would, it is. I be, would I be able to recreate the design here if a client wanted it for their paint party? The only thing you cannot do with my paintings is paint and teach online. So if you want to use this design to paint at a local face-to-face -face paint party, yes, you can use it. Does that answer your question? Will the Barnyard painting be recorded? I'm yes. out of town for my son's wedding. Yes, you will have lifetime access to all of the videos. Up in the top, in the description at the top, you should see the links to the Mini Tribe and the Barnyard Bliss pop up paint party. Do you see them? I see the Barnyard Bliss. If you scroll down, you should see both of them. I see more, and I see the okay. pop up paint party. So that's option number one, y'all. Not everybody has the amount of gesso that I just put on this. Okay. Also, you're going to want to make sure that your gesso has air drying time before you try to paint over it. Don't take your handy dandy blow dryer that I use all the time when I'm painting and dry your gesso because it's going to crack your gesso. Now, is cracking okay? Yes. I like rustic. I like old. I like beat up things. So if you want the crackle, you can dry it with, and you can see how wet this is. You can dry it with a um look that's a good picture of it see how it's even running i like that i like having kind of like just a messy messy look so when you look at the original i want to show you something that i have going on now this original was painted on a piece of wood because it was like a scrap piece of wood that i was actually just playing on and i had a vibe to paint a big born. So I found a picture of a big born. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get y'all to see the texture in here. Okay, you can see. There you go. You can see some of it from the glare. See that texture on there? All right. So what I did here was I put the gesso on. I let it sit overnight. This is a mini trial one, right? Yes. I let it sit overnight and then I started my painting. So that is one thing that I would highly recommend you do if you don't want all the um, the cracks in it. 
Another option is you can use, I'm looking at the wrong camera. Another option is you can use molding paste. If you want even more texture, okay, it's totally up to you on how much texture you want. Now, let me show you what this stuff looks like. This is even thicker. See how thick that is? It's like, I don't know, what is it like, Crisco almost? I don't know if y'all use Crisco anymore. That's like an old time. I'm telling my age, aren't I? <laughs> Not really. No? <laughs> Maybe a little bit. 70s baby. 70s baby. You're right. No. Yeah, I am a 70s baby. Yes. Okay, so... Maybe you want more texture. Maybe you want, instead of using, I'm going to show you this too. Instead of using the gesso, you can use this molding paste. And look what I'm doing. Light molding or heavy? I have light. And I, I actually have, um, it's flexible. And it's, I don't know, it's, look, I'll show you what it's called. It's called gel medium flexible molding paste. Okay, I've been having it forever and I don't use it that often, but I have learned that I really love it. So right now what I'm doing is I'm making some like areas on my canvas. I can even use my finger where my trees are going to go. Now, you probably don't want to use both the gesso and the molding paste. It's totally up to you. You may want to use one or the other and just kind of make yourself some areas where you want some texture in your painting. How do you like that? Look at me. I'm doing a finger painting. Now. Look at you. Look at me. <laughs> or... I'm going to use a smaller palette knife. Let's do something that's smaller on the end. See that? So I'm going to grab some of my molding paste. And I'm going to focus on, this is not a good picture, but I'm going to focus on, if you look at the painting, I'm going to focus on the areas that I think are interesting. And I think like, maybe the fence maybe i want to have the fence a little bit with a little bit of texture so when i'm painting i can see where i'm going to put my fence okay now remember this is a very impressionistic painting we are not going to be following you know specific specific details here we're going to have fun and we're going to allow ourselves to paint loose so here's the big door upstairs i'm adding some of that here now for those of y'all like i said i'm going to say it again for those of y'all that want to use the template I would highly suggest before you put anything on your canvas, transfer the template over. The first thing you do is you take some carbon paper and you transfer the template over if you don't want to draw it out. I'm drawing mine freehand because I just want to show you that you can. It's okay to draw it freehand and it's not hard at all. Okay, so I basically drew mine out freehand. I followed about where I want my barn to be right there and I made some fun little branches and see all of this that I'm doing right now you're gonna be able even if you don't even follow like you you're not you're gonna see that when we do the three-day painting you're not gonna have to follow these lines that we're making or these textures that we're making it's just adding a different vibe to the whole painting okay so don't feel like you're being pressured into oh this is where my end of my barn has to go no when you start painting this barn if you want it to be a little bit bigger and your your indentions here are a little bit smaller it's okay it's still going to add a totally different rustic look 
than it would if you did not have texture behind your, your paint. One of the things that I do, and I know I'm going to get this question, so I'm going to address it now. Some people say, well, why don't you just use heavy body paint and you can make your texture while you're using the heavy body paint. That's how I paint 90% of the time, okay? But I'm wanting to do something different, and I'm wanting to take you all, for those of y'all that paint with me, we, I don't know if you've been following me or not, but we've been doing New Technique Wednesdays, and we've been learning new techniques on how to expand our um, repertoire, expand, expand what we do and go beyond just using heavy body paint every time to make our texture. Okay. So this is one of those examples that I'm showing you here is that we are learning to, to, we're, we're expanding what we know, what we do in Ginston art, we are learning more. So every Wednesday I go live at 4 PM central and we learn together and we do what's called a new technique Wednesday. And this is one of the techniques that I did a couple of weeks ago and I fell in love with it. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do a pop up paint party with this because it's probably one of my favorite techniques that I have ventured out into. So there's that. Jen, I, I want to mention this. that tonight at six o'clock, this painting right here for the mini tribers mm -hmm. and for the tribe sisters, who are monthly members and get over a hundred paintings, tutorials uh, in their library. Many tribers, you've got seven in your library. So tonight, six o'clock, many tribers and tribe sisters, make sure you're here. Let's have a good turnout. Let's do this. This is a yes. very, very beautiful painting. Yes. So this is on a 16 by 20. And this one is called Field of Lavenders. It was actually voted on in the tribe. And so we, we are painting this in the tribe and the paint that I used, you can see the texture on here too. The paint that I used is a heavy body paint and it's super loose. Got a great question. All of my paintings are super loose. Well, most of my paintings are super loose unless I'm doing birds. For some reason I can't get very loose with birds, but I'm got, trying. Got a great question. What you got? By Miss Nona. Okay. Jen, if when I actually start painting and then I have done that first layer of paint, I decide I want some texture. Can I add the paste at that point? Yes, ma'am. You can. Yes, ma'am. You can. So again, do you have to do what I just did to be able to start and paint with us in our barnyard bliss pop up paint party? The answer is no. This is just if you want that additional texture, that's why I'm doing it pre Barnyard Bliss pop up paint party, because this part of the painting is optional. This part of the painting is optional. When we start on July 7th at 6 p.m. Central. Yes. When we start, we're going to start painting. We're going to start painting the sky. We're going to get into all of the colors and all that kind of stuff. So this is just a pre option for you. Okay. Do you have to paint it on a 24 by 36? Because that's extremely big, right? No, you do not. Okay. I provide the template to be printed out in any size that you want. So this is how I provide the template. I provide the template to you just as a JPEG, which you could print out on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. I also provide a video that teaches you how to use Canva. I don't know if you've ever used Canva before. I also provide a video that teaches you how to take your JPEG that I provide for you and blow it up to any size you want using Canva. I also show you how to use block posters if you want to blow your your uh, canvas or your your template up to any size you want. And I provide the 24 by 36 template also. Since I'm going that big, I provided it for you this big. Okay. So uh, did you do molding paste or are you adding it later before the pop-up? I did do the molding paste. Um, I did it on the trees up here. So I added some molding paste up here 
I don't know if you can see it. It's a little bit, it's got a little bit of a color to it. And I didn't use a lot of it because I used so much gesso that I didn't want to overpower all of the gesso that I have. But maybe you might want to use the molding paste, like maybe for the flowers. Got a question. You might want to put some little spots like that. What's the question? When do we get the template for the barn? And also, is there a template for tonight? Okay, so the barn has been sent to you over a week ago. It's in the Facebook group. The in the guides. Is in the, tribe. the template is in the. Sharon Daigle said that. Let you go, Sharon. The template is email. You should have gotten an email, and it's in the private Facebook group as well. In the guides, I think it's the first guide. Okay, so that's all there. The template for the field of lavenders has been sent to you in the tribe and the mini tribe in the Facebook group. And as soon as I get off of this live, I'm going to email you the paint supplies. We're on a 16 by 20, by the way, for this one. I'm going to email you the paint supplies and the template as well for the field of lavenders. And a couple more comments. Okay. Comment by Sharon, I mean, excuse me, by Star Davis. I love the texture. You're awesome at what you do and still learning new techniques every week. Love being in the tribe. Yay. Jen Ingram. I'm in! Exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. Yay, Jen! Mm -hmm. And Deanne says, okay, thank you. You're welcome, Miss Deanne. Okay, Jen so. Says, Will I get an invite to the Facebook group? For the B Barnyard Bliss? Yes. You should get an email as soon as you sign up. Shout out to the sisters. Woo -woo. So look at the texture that I gave myself already before I even put any paint on this. Look wow. at that. Isn't that cool? It's okay to have those grooves in it? Yes. That's going to make it so awesome. Jen Ingram is in the mini tribe. Yes, Jen. Jen Ingram. Sure. Okay, so Jen, give me just a minute, and I'm going to send you the 50% um, the off code for the Barnyard Bliss. Oh, that's right. So, yeah. If you, if you join the mini tribe, you're going to get a 50% off code if you want to join the Barnyard Bliss. Because the Barnyard Bliss is just a one-time payment, and it's it's um, it's extra. Okay? If you want to join it. Yeah, if you want to join that. Okay? Anybody else? All right, guys. We are going to uh, call it a day. I'm going to be back again live tomorrow um, to go over how to start, how to paint some of these little areas on the barn to give you an idea of what we're going to be doing. So it's kind of like a, a pre, just to, just to give you confidence. If you're, if you're looking at this, because I saw some people said, I think I've, uh, this is too hard for me, or I think I've gotten in over my head. You did not. I promise you. I promise you, you are not getting in over your head. So if you feel like this might be a little too advanced for you, come follow me again tomorrow. I'm going to take you through a couple of little tutorials on how we're going to paint this barn and how we're going to paint these trees to look like, um, you know, to make it look the way it looks right here. And okay? real quick, Jen. So real quick, because I may not see or see you guys on a regular basis. I will the mini tribe and I will the tribe sisters. But for those of you who are just here because you got a link or you heard about it or you found Jen and you wanted just to see what she's doing, I want to give you something. I want to give you Psalm chapter 33, verse 11 through 12. This is just something for you to think about what God said to us. He said, the counsel of the Lord stands forever. The plans of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. The people whom he has chosen as his heritage. And you can be a part of that uh, just by asking and following his promptings of love, grace, and mercy. So we thank you guys for being here tonight or today, this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. I, there's a couple more questions I want to address Kathy, you do not have to do the um, the texture. Annette, you have lifetime access to these tutorials. Once they are done, you have you can paint the barn however many times and however big or small you want to. 
Okay, so can you just do the barn one time? Like, can you do the barn painting and then not be, not do anything else? Yeah, you can just do the barn, which is $20. It's a one-time fee. You get in on the three days live plus lifetime access to the replays. So okay. again, $20, you are a part of the pop-up paint party that starts on July 7th and lasts to the 9th. And you have access to that painting forever because you join. That's $20. If you join the mini tribe, that's $15 and you get one monthly painting a month. And right now there's seven of those mini tribe paintings in your personal library. You can cancel at any time. Uh, but if you happen to join the mini tribe, you do get that pop-up paint party in addition for an extra $10. And I see one more. Jen asked, do I use gesso on the mini tribe one? And yes, I talked to you about using orange gesso oh, on question. the mini tribe one. So this actually has it as a base layer of orange gesso. So we're going to talk about that when we start our live painting tonight. It's optional. It is totally optional, but it is something that I like to do every once in a while and try out. So, yeah. All right. Great questions. Oh, my gosh. We have uh, some painters in the house. Real I'm so quick, excited. Annette says, I would like to join the pop-up paint party, please. How do I join? And so I'm going to post a link. Just give it to her. You can give it to her. Okay. You know how to do that? Uh, shoot. It should be in the... Um, I'm going to reply to her and copy and paste this. How's okay. That? Perfect. Perfect. All right, guys. Well, we're going to head on out. Hold on. We have um, some more questions. Now. Oh, we do? There, cowgirl. What, what is, is gesso? gesso? So gesso is basically just a primer for your canvas. Most canvases come already gesso, but it's a very elementary gesso. Okay, so if you want to go a little beyond just the gesso that is provided, are you laughing at me? No, Jenny, you gonna put those up uh, in the eyes, like looking at the corner. Anyway, you know, <laughs> Jen knows. Jen Ingram knows. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> so um, it's totally optional. What it does, though, it provides a nice, almost like a primer when you're painting a wall. It provides a nice surface for your paintbrush to move smoother because, you know, on a canvas, you have those little bitty, depending on what kind of canvas you buy, it's like kind of rough. So the gesso provides, it kind of smooths out your canvas and your paintbrush and your paint moves a lot better. And I actually find that it makes your paints a little more vibrant because a canvas is made of cotton, at least the ones I use are made of cotton. And you know how like when you use a paint and the, the cotton, if you use it like on any any kind of um, fabric or anything, the paint kind of absorbs into the fabric and it loses its vibrant color. So think about that. If you don't protect your paint from being absorbed into the canvas, it could cause a difference in the colors that your, your, um, your painting has. So those are just some, those are kind of like some higher level painting tips. A lot of um, your like paint and sip parties and just for fun, quick painting, you're probably not going to see those teachers use gesso or, um, you know, tell you anything about what gesso is about. But since I sell most of my paintings in an art store, um, I like to try to use the higher end um, products that are available out there. And I like to teach you about them. So. Right on. All right. All right, guys. Y'all have a great afternoon. And I six. will see you all, whoever's coming for the mini tribe or the tribe painting. We will be back at 6 p.m. Central in there. Thank y'all for coming on. We'll see you later. God later, bless. Guys.